Hey, this is Gavin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I got in the uh, Kickstarter from Blacklist Games, the Saddler Brothers, uh, Brook City. This is a uh, follow-up, sort of, to Street Masters. Uh, not quite the same game, but uh, plays off the same system. Uh, and this is kind of, a, kind of an 80s cop movie feel to it. Uh, I'm sure you kind of start recognizing some of these these caricatures here but we're going to take a look at what comes in the base game in this video we'll do some other videos on some of the expansions as well this is a heavy it's a very heavy box very thick box and obviously we have a food network star here jumping in the mix all right let's see what we get going here all right so we start out with a, well, it looks like a card, card holder that'll probably sit down in the, in the box here. It's uh, color cardstock coated. So it looks, there's instructions here somewhere on how to fold it. And it looks pretty straightforward. You're going to fold that down and those are going to tuck in underneath just like that ta-da yeah I did it it only took me a few seconds to figure it out so it's probably going to be for putting cards in then we have our rule book made to look like a case file and it's confidential so you guys can't look at this I'm going to kind of block it from view all right, full color. Um, it's going to be about 18 pages, I guess. Let's see if I'm predicting right. Yeah, because it says 18 of 18. Um, so let's start over here. Description of the cards. So like the, uh, kind of like Street Masters, uh, it's a card-driven game. Uh, you'll get a turn, the enemies will get a turn, and then the, in this case, the case will get a turn. Um, and that's each round. So uh, the game can really unfold differently. You can pick different different police officers. You can you know, pick different uh, crimes or cases and different opponents. So a lot of, a lot of variability, which I like. Street Masters is a great game. Don't expect less from this one, so I won't give too much away, but it seems a little dense, it seems large print, but not too large, and uh, so it's a rule book, 18 page rule book, it's not too bad at all, and so now here we have all the minis for the game, all lined up in a row here, so we will open that, but you can keep this tray, it's very very hard plastic and you can keep the mini stored in that if you want to or what I did with Street Masters was I ended up putting them by faction into different boxes custom boxes so I may end up doing that just to save some space but with the punch boards taken care of you may have room for this tray so it comes out all right now we get some punch board as a sheet, they seem kind of thin, but individually they're they're pretty solid, so that's good. They punch very cleanly too. All right, so obviously we've got some arrest handcuffs, fives, ones, and other various clues. Um, don't look like they're hidden as to what they are. All right, so the one sheet. Two, three sheets of tokens, at least so far. All right. And then we've got the game board, and we will fold that out later. Take a quick fly over of that. And then also we're going to get six dice. Uh, we have shields and explosions and, and 
and something else with a good double explosion maybe. Alright. And cards. Yeah. Oh man. One of the nice things about Street Masters was these clip-on rings to help distinguish characters of the same type. But in this case, we have four blues, one red, and blacks. I assume the black are the henchmen, the red is the bad guy, and the blues are the police officers. Up to four. And it is co-op. Um, it is soloable. You can play with one player playing one character. You can play one player playing multiple characters, and so on and so forth. So, um, so now we obviously we've got some vehicle minis here in the garage. We have, each player has a cruiser, and then we've got, this is obviously, this is obviously uh, Gus Ferguson, again, we know where he's from, and this is his, his cruiser. The super duper weenie it's wagon. Convertible. So, the vehicles don't, don't strike me as being a whole whole lot of detail they're functional they've got wheels but not a lot of it's kind of a blank canvas so uh, um, people will be able to like paint their own put their own decals on them or whatever I guess so we have the, the hot rod for guy I mean Gus and then we've got some other we got a station wagon family truckster a couple of those what else we got here? We got a Ferrari. So I guess Magnum can show up. Two of those. Two more convertibles. Some boats. Like some cruisers, obviously not to scale. Uh, some mud boats, fan boats going on, drug runners, I guess. And then another. Some sedans here, and boy, I tell you what, those those rearview mirrors really stick out there. So those are hopefully not going to break off. I'm surprised they made it this far. They're pretty, it's pretty form fitting, so uh, it holds it pretty well. And if you just get the base game, you're probably cool with how they've got it stored here. And this is Leeds, and then we've got each officer. I believe has their own deck. Each case has its own deck, and each criminal group has its own deck. Oh, there's more cards. I give us dividers. And we'll test our theory that, yes, they do fit in here. Um, now as to where this is going to go. With this bottom tray here, this top tray, there's no room for the Brook City box, card box to go, so... I think they're planning ahead for people who have the expansions that this plastic will come out and then these will sit in here somehow. So, and then we've got some more, uh, some more of the cards. So we're going to open, so we'll take a tour of the board real quick. It is pretty big. It's about 36 by 24. I would say you're going to go a little peek behind the scenes here. Just trying to show it all. Um, they did make a uh, optional neoprene rollout mat, which would be cool, but at the same time, in my opinion, everybody's coming out with neoprene mats. So where do you store all these things? I mean, you can end up having an extra game room just to store all the neoprene mats. So the artwork on this is pretty cool. The uh, locations are very clearly labeled. And uh, got a river runs through it here. It's uh, keyed. So we have alphabetical and uh, numerical. So just like a real map, you can find in the location, which is which is convenient. So now they don't just say go to the Queen's Bishop Pawn Shop. Clever name, Queen's Bishop Pawn Shop. You don't have to go just there. I mean, I can tell you to go to, you know, what do we got? R8 would be right here. So that is... That was pretty cool. That was pretty big, pretty big, uh, pretty big map board.
All right, so we're going to take a look inside some of the card decks here. Uh, so here we have a police officer, uh, Renee Benson. Um, they, are, uh, they are just shrink wrapped, so once you get them started, it's pretty easy to get through. So this is obviously the uh, ID card, so to speak. So these are her cards. Then we got Mora Banks right there. And so each cop police officer has their own deck of cards that they will use and different skill abilities that will let them do different things. So that's why it makes it important as to which one you play. And they also give you variability. So for example, tactic card at home behind the wheel. Each time you commandeer a vehicle, you may discard a stress and gain a hunch. If the card's prepared, you can discard one stretch stress and gain a hunch. So, don't know what any of that means yet. I have not played it. I've not played any preview copies. So, so it looks like this is going to be just two characters, which is awesome. I like that they have a mix of both genders in here. So you can play whoever you want. You can randomly choose. And then obviously, since they each have their own deck of probably 20 cards, let's see what I count in. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 cards. My bad. So there'll be a lot of variability and you'll be using, you'll be picking based on the, uh, the skill set that you want. So, very cool. Alright. So we also have Wilson Fox, who looks to me like he came from Detroit and ended up in Beverly Hills, but uh, I Mr. Ahmed Fallis Axel Fallis. So these are apparently some more officer cards. And then we'll take a look at some leads real quick. And some other stuff. So these are lead cards. And then these are criminal decks. Mickey Scott, Slate Harper, various leads. I don't want to spoil any leads, so I'm gonna leave those unrevealed. And so when the criminal deck happens, when you activate, either place one influence on this card or discard one card you control. Then if there's three or more influence, discard three influence from this card and Slade gains an influence. So um, obviously, like I said, the, the cops take a turn, the criminals take a turn, and then the case takes a turn. Hopefully not for the worse. So nice artwork. Very thematic. So Anyway, that is the base game of um, Brook City from the Sadler brothers, Brady and Adam. Um, again, it's for one to four players. It's cooperative, so therefore it's fully soloable, as all cooperative games are. Um, all fully cooperative games are. Um, so you can true solo as one character. You can true solo as four characters if you want to. Or you can get four, three friends together and play that way. One thing I like about Blacklist is like this is the base game and then they sent along a different box that is the stretch goals right so that will have more stuff in it that you wouldn't get at retail so i'm going to keep it a separate video but uh so you're going to get a uh, bunch of miniatures three punch boards game board a bunch of cards dice and uh, some vehicle miniatures as well and that's what comes in brook city from blacklist games Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe and keep up with new video releases. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. God bless you. Oh.